Finn has definitely evolved from episode seven. Uh, he's definitely more aware about his part in this story. Um, he's more affected by the events that happened before and brings that same energy and struggle into episode eight. Uh, but at the same time, he still is kind of confused as to where he belongs exactly. Um, so although he's now matured, he's more of a fighter, there's still some loose ends in terms of his character development. A good director is just like fundamentally the, the, the best thing in the world. So obviously having Ryan Johnson uh, coming in has its effect and has its influence, you know, continuing the saga after JJ left a really good foundation. So it's nice to have, you know, that amp up and that, that, um, that talent to help with the acting for sure. My first scene would be in the back to suit scene. Obviously after episode seven, uh, it was uh, cut down <laughs> by Kylo Ren. And you first see Finn uh, in recovery. Um, and uh, although it looks like it's peaceful and he looks like he's in a place of recovery and slowly getting things together, there, there is still war brewing and literally outside the ship that he's in. And so you see the way he's forced back into the story you know, despite physically being probably a, a bit a bit weak after the fight. DJ has interesting views in and in, in, in Finn's journey to making a decision on what's to what side he's on. Uh, DJ suggests that there is no side, that you know, it's part of the same system. The resistance, you know takes out the First Order f uh, fleet, and then another day, the First Order takes out a resistance fleet. It's just the way it goes. Um, it depends on who's paying. So why get involved in, in that fight? And that's something that Finn definitely considers, like seriously considers that maybe I don't need to choose a side, maybe I just need to get Ray, and we can go off to the outer rim and, and live our lives there. But it's, it's, uh, it's more complicated than that. <laughs>